Moo Hack. Well, Moo Hack to you too. Number 67. Taste along with Adam the Lion Guy. Thanks for coming back again today. Today, it's a good one. It's a different adventure for our palate. That's for sure. It is for mine. And um, I've been warming up all morning here just, just to get loose enough to taste a little bit of this soju uh, produced by Moo Hack. Uh, the name of this soju in particular, they're calling it Good Day Soju. So, Good Day Soju. Why, thank you. And a Good Day, day Soju to you, too. Anyhow, this, a Korean soju, uh, number 67, the taste along. You never know what you're going to find here. Check out the bottle. It's um, just nice and simple and right on there, Good Day. You can see that. And on the back, some fun and playful stuff going on. And uh, all kinds of color going on in the label. It looks fun, whatever it is. So let's, uh, let's see what the taste and the flavor profile of this stuff is. They got it in, I think, three or four different sizes. One a little bit smaller than this, this size. And then they have the next size up. And uh, let's, let's see what this is all about. Soju, uh, we're going to taste it in a little cup. Um, sort of like a little sake cup. Uh, it's super high in alcohol. This stuff's 16.9%. They're making cocktails with it. It's a real popular drink that uh, you can mix sort of like a vodka. And um, we're going to taste this stuff like we do a cognac. So our monkey time today, it's going to be a little mellow monkey time today is how this works. We're just going to open our mouths up. We're going to let it sit on our palates for a second. Let it sort of dance around itself not too much aeration, and then we're going to see what the flavor is all about. So uh, on, on the count of three, on a one, and a two, and a three, it's time for monkey time. You know, it's palatable at that high of an alcohol. Um, it's made with fermented rice is what we got going on here. Uh, so it does go through a fermentation process. Um, and just delicious. It really, uh, real clean. Um, and, and they like to describe things more poetically. So rather than using the traditional Western sort of fruit uh, tie-ins, um, we're going to go with this one feels like, like a nice spring day, as things start to green up, um, is where this one's feeling to me. Uh, just nice and ripe, clean, and it would mix well. I could, I could picture this almost with like a lychee martini. Might be a real interesting pairing. If anybody has a chance to make some of that, try it with this good day. We'll see how that works out. If not, if you got another brand that you prefer, let me know. Let me know some drink recipes. Send them in. And if you like what you see, check out AdamTheWineGuy.com for a new adventure every day. This, number 67, the Muhak. Good day, Soju.